Bay fight predictions in the building. And this is your Yuri fake punk ass samurai Prohaska versus Glover, the champ, to share a breakdown. Uh, I've been waiting to do a video like this, man. I could not wait for Yuri's next fight after that ridiculousness I saw against Dominic Reyes. And I mean, they gave him a, a candy Mickey Mouse title shot. And yeah, man, it is what it is. He's fighting the champ, and they're gonna fight in Singapore. You know that that's that's kind of like, I, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't say he has like home advantage or anything, but like he kind of it, it wasn't it was in Japan, it was in Ryzen, I'm pretty sure, but uh, still that that area knows him, and they're probably like they're banking off of the fact that that area fucks with him. So, um, but yeah, man, I love this fight. There's no real story going into this, honestly. Um, it's, it's, it's just, you know, number one contender fighting the champ, right? Um, but there is a, a dynamic of the young versus the old, um, you know, Yuri being that young guy, like climbing up the ranks, just fighting two fighters, you know, climbing up the ranks, just fighting two fighters, you know, two fights, <laughs> he, he works so hard, <laughs> but, uh, you know, he's fighting, uh, Glover Teixeira, who's, who's been there, done that. Um, he's, he's been through the fucking heartaches. He's been through the, the rough times, the KO losses, um, old age. What's up, y'all? I'm sorry. Sorry for the interruption. Um, yeah, I mean, I fucking fuck this computer, by the way. But, you know, I just did a 21 minute thing and it didn't record and it, I, I, I'm just going to record from my phone. Um, but yeah, man, like I was saying in that other clip, um, yeah, here he's been, not here, Glover's been through it, you know? And he's been through the adversity, you know, he at an old age, man, you know, he wasn't supposed to make it. And he did all those things and uh, he became champ. You know, he, he went through a decade of MMA, like two decades, really, of MMA and uh, became, became champ at fucking 42 years old. So that's remarkable. But it is what it is. Obviously, we got to talk about these stats, man. You already know I got to talk about these stats. Um, obviously, we all know uh, Mr. Glover to share is the champion so he is the number one light heavyweight in the world i am talking a lot of you punk ass glover haters man you got all your fucking nursing home jokes all your fucking grandpa jokes it is we put some respect on that man's name right he's the number one light heavyweight in the world obviously year is the number two light heavyweight in the world you know fucking two wins you know you get number two i guess it kind of makes sense right kind of but <laughs> he really he really worked hard for it <laughs> but um <laughs> record of 33 and 7 uh is fighting out of connecticut age 42 years old uh i62 uh for year he's 28 and 3 and 1 let me move this a little bit i'm sorry y'all i gotta see the thing he's uh 28 3 and 1 um fighting out of the zek republic uh age 29 a height of 63 and a reach of 80 so you know obviously i'll move you back sorry about that obviously as i see it um right here he has the youth he does have a lot of fights so he has experience right so he's not like at an experience um deficiency right um so he's not deficient there he has he has the height he's gonna be a little bigger he's probably gonna be a little muscular he's going into his prime glover he he has experience but he doesn't have more ex that much more um than yuri you know um i mean he damn near has 40 fucking fights but still it's like 40 to like what fucking you know 31 or some shit like you know it's it's not or 30 but um uh, or actually is a draw so 32 right but uh it's not that crazy right obviously glover's gonna be a little smaller his arms are gonna be shorter right and i'm still rocking with fucking glover i'm always gonna rock with my guy glover and i think he can beat this clown man i really really do um now, obviously, you already know I had to do the film study format. You already know the three-fight format. Um, their most recent fight, a fight where they had a similar opponent but really great success. And then an opponent, obviously, that is similar to their current opponent. They will be fighting, and they had bad results, right? So, obviously, that applies to both. Now, let's look at the challenger himself, Yuri Prohaska. Uh, and I looked at both King Mo fights, right? I looked at the first one and I looked at the second one. Now, King Mo at this time in the first one, now obviously I know people have excuses. They talk about, oh, he was in a tournament. He fought Nemkov. You know, they were fucking going to war. And, you know, then he fights King Mo right 
right after and it's just not fair but i feel like if he would have got tired in that fight then okay but he got caught he got caught with a beautiful shot and now you can say he got caught and it doesn't matter but it does because you you get caught that means there is some defensive deficiency in your game and he got caught with a beautiful fucking shot uh but before he got caught with that shot king mo took him down with ease wasn't that hard for him uh, and then he put on some fucking ground and pound on him. Now, Yuri was able to get up. I will give him that. He did get up. And then just the way King Mo landed that fucking straight right hand. Oh, my God. He fucking hurt him. He hurt him bad. I had him kissing the ground, face down, ass up. I don't know why. That's his decision. It is. We are on the first day of Pride Month. So... You can do whatever you want here. See, it's your fucking choice. But he got knocked out and he got caught. And Glover has power. He does. And you play these games and you leave your chin out there. Eventually, it will get cracked. Nothing is unbreakable. I hope by watching that Tony Ferguson fight, just knowing and like nothing is unbreakable. And that includes this, the chin, right? So after that, he runs it back with King Mo when he... It's 38 years old. I mean, from 34 to 38, you know, it's like almost like he was meant to lose. <laughs> but he runs it back with him, and he actually had a really good performance in this. I will give him that. He was very cautious, I think, because he got knocked out. So he's a lot more cautious. Um, you can just tell he's using a very cautious forward pressure movement. You know, he's using the jab. He's keeping his hands low but he's in very good he's using really good distance management he's very light on his foot uh got a front kick too in there and he's just landing the jab the jab the one two just landing shots and king mo's just circling around the octagon not the octagon the fucking ring it's rising and he's getting i mean he's getting himself tired uh yuri showed good takedown defense in this fight stuffs two good takedowns and he looked kind of decent there um and then eventually he ended up knocking him out um so the, uh, good on good on yuri and also he showed really good cardio he's always we i think we always knew yuri had good cardio i don't know maybe if you're not a real fan of yuri you don't know but he has great cardio i will give him that for a light heavyweight he has really good cardio and he was able to outwork uh king mo and just kind of kind of work him in that scenario uh and then he fought mr dominic grace his most recent fight um interesting interesting um very very interesting that was very very interesting um dominic was the most motivated he's ever been for this fight and i will give yuri that he fought a really motivated dominic reyes i felt like that guy put everything into this camp he actually looked in better shape for this uh camp and i ended up picking dominic like a fool um dominic let me down i've never been the biggest fan of dominic i think it's known on this channel if you if you if you are a real ebay fan you know i used to hate dominic now i kind of feel bad for him and i want to see him actually do well but um but yeah man it's fucking it's fucking wild right so you know dude and dude that was one of the best apex fights in a minute by the way like a classic apex fight like the best apex fight um and they fucking went to war, man. It was rock'em sock'em robots in that fucking fight, bro. That first round, they were just hitting each other. And obviously, Yuri's putting pressure, so he's going to get the credit. But, man, Dominic was landing shots too, man. And they're it just hurting each other. Hurting each other, just whooping each other. There was moments in that fight, I mean, like, Yuri would dick into the body. And he was just... Man, I, Dominic got beat up in that fight, man. He got beat up bad. You could see it in his fucking face after the fight. He got beat up. He got beat up. Uh, but some of the things that Dominic showed in that fight was he was able to take down Mr. Yuri Prochowska, which Dominic isn't really known for doing in MMA. Now, I know he has a high school wrestling background. He, I think, was a maybe a one-time or two-time state champion, but he was more of a football guy. He, he really was getting into football. Uh, didn't make it. Um, and yeah, and as an MMA fighter, he's primarily been a striker. He's never really shown a real grappling game. I know he has a, a rear naked choke win maybe in his debut but that's like that's nothing man that doesn't mean anything right um but yeah i mean obviously he, he had to resort to grappling and and there was actually a moment in this fight that yuri did that just shocked me he gave up his back so blatantly like so bad now he was able to get up because of the momentum and the strength of him but man you do that with glover you're in deep fucking shit bro you're fucked, man. <laughs> I just want to say you're fucked. But uh, but he was able to get up. Now, obviously, 
you know, the kind of round ends. They go to the second round. And Dominic fucking hurts Yuri. Yuri goes for the takedown. He couldn't get the takedown. Now, Dominic goes for the guillotine, which might have been kind of stupid. But he put himself on the ground. Um, and he did, he did hurt him. He had him doing the chicken dance. He landed a beautiful shot. Then... Yuri gets out of the guillotine. He goes up, gets caught with a fucking beautiful push kick. I thought he was out. I thought the fight was over. I thought Dominic won. But he somehow fucking is able to recover. Dominic gets right back up, trying to put that damage on him. And fucking Yuri Prowska decides to mutilate Dominic Reyes. And kill him with the worst... I shouldn't even say it. one of the best spinning back elbow fin. It, it does pay me as a Yuri hater to give him credit, but that was pr pretty good. I, I can't I can't even lie. That was a pretty good KO, and he fucking nuked him. He murdered him. He hasn't fought fucking since that was like last May. I'm pretty sure uh, that fight. And he uh, Dominic Reyes hasn't fought. For, I haven't seen Dominic Reyes since. And fuck, man, that was. It was bad man i felt bad for reyes that was a bad loss it's fucking horrible but now we're here you know um ever since that crazy knockout of reyes he he fights mr glover to share for the light heavyweight title of the world even though it pains me <laughs> uh but it is what it is it's a great fight a lot of people are gonna love it a lot of people are gonna watch it it's gonna be in singapore so you already know how it is uh but yeah man it's an awesome fight but I, if we look at glover in his last three fights and what he was able to accomplish I mean, we got to talk about one thing in this fight. And the only way I can really see Yuri really winning is by knockout. And when you think about knockouts in Glover's and Sheriff's career, you think about Alexander Gustafsson. But the number one thing I think about is fucking Rumble Johnson. And what Rumble was able to do to him, oh my fucking God. First round, like first fucking 10 seconds, right? He fucking catches him with that uppercut and lays him the f out that's something that yuri's gonna have to do that's the only way i really see him winning i don't see him getting glover tired i don't see him outpointing glover to a decision i fucking for god's sake don't see him subbing glover he has to win by knockout and i think early it's a touch his chin quick just get him out of there right can he do it i don't think so but that's the only way i could see him winning this fight um and then right after that, fucking, you know, what's his face? He fights fucking Glover. Oh, I don't know why I can't talk. I'm sorry, y'all. It's, it's just throwing me off, man. Doing this again, it, it fucking hurts, man. I'm sorry, y'all. Just give me a break. So Glover, in in the second matchup where I felt like he dealt with a similar opponent, he fights Thiago Santos, who has power. He's a lot He's a lot more technical than Yuri, and he's a little different. But still, he has power. He has that, that same threat. And Glover got hurt. He got hurt in that first round but then he was able to get some takedowns he was able to control Thiago Santos show him that he can go through adversity right and it looks like after that fucking it's this is Glover's day then another streak of bad luck I mean I wouldn't call it bad luck but he gets fucking caught he gets dropped in the third round and then this moment I love this moment about Glover he could have quit he was on the bottom, ground and pound. No one would have blamed him. He got that far. He's in the number one contender bout for the belt. No one would have been mad at him. The UFC obviously didn't want to see him win. The world didn't want to see him win. I, was, I felt like I was the only guy that picked Glover that day. Um, but he, he goes to the adversity. He From bottom, he's able to sweep Tiago. Get him on his fucking back, right? Get his back. And he fucking submits the guy. And it's just like, dude, is this guy fucking Rocky Balboa, bro? Like, what the fuck, man? He's the real uh, like, <laughs> Brazilian Rocky, bro. He's fuck he he can overcome anything, you know? Uh, obviously, he can't overcome anything. He's lost in his career. But still, when the world wanted to see him lose, he said no. Um, and then it goes to his world title fight uh, against Mr. Jan Blahovic, uh, my favorite fight. Uh of the film study i enjoyed this fight a lot man man i <laughs> i mean fucking glover he he embarrassed him he he violated jan blahovich um i i felt i mean there were some people picking glover don't get it twisted but i also felt like i was one of the only guys really picking glover that day 
and I was just like, come on now, why, why? But um, but it is what it is. Um, you know, I thought, man, it was very simple, man. I Glover took him down in the first round, controlled him the whole round. Jan had nothing for him. Jan was just bitched, bro. I'm just saying right now. Don't disrespect to Jan Blovich. I know you guys are probably like, oh, you're mad about that Mickey Mouse fucking uh, win Jan has over your boy Rakic, but it is what it is. Um, but he he did him dirty in this fight. Then, very interestingly, what happened, actually Jan made a mistake in the second round because it was actually getting a little more competitive in there. So, Glover goes for a takedown. Then Jan goes for a weird Kimura lock and I thought he was going to use it defensively but I think he might have actually went for a Kimura attempt sits his butt on the ground basically gives the fight to Glover turns his back goes on his belly taps immediately by the way very qu quick tap and got choked out in front of all of a Abu Dhabi and Glover ended up becoming the champ you know fulfilling his uh, lifelong story and his lifelong dream and he did it, and now we're here against fucking this clown, Yuri Prohaska, who irks my soul. <laughs> a lot of you have been been messing with Glover. Y'all y'all been talking crazy about Glover. Now, when fucking Glover subs this guy, all the grandpa jokes are gonna look. I'm gonna keep. I don't forget, y'all. I'm gonna keep all them receipts, bro. I, I got all the receipts, and I'm, I'm gonna remember. Who was talking crazy about Glover? You better be respectful. If you were talking crazy, saying, oh, this is so horrible. He became champ, this and that. Like, I don't understand, like, how a good feel story about a fucking 42-year-old who who never won the world championship, who got there but never really completed his story, finally gets his belt, is bad for the... I don't understand that. That's fucking inspirational. All right, but you guys are dissing him like it's the worst thing that's ever happened to the division. It makes the division trash. No, he's just good. It's gonna be, it's gonna come to the fact that he's just good. Um, I think Glover fucking annihilates this guy. This Yuri Prohaska, he I've said it for the long. He's undercover. He's an undercover bum. He has legitimate defensive deficiencies. There's, I know it. it Obviously, when I say the sweet science, obviously, I'm talking about boxing. But, like, in boxing, defense is important. And for some odd reason in, in MMA, people will value guys that literally get punched in the face and call them elite top fighters. And guys that move their fucking head, dodge punches, are smart, cut angles, and fight like an intelligent fighter, bums. But this guy... Who can't move his fucking head. Who gets hit a lot. He takes smacks to the chin a lot. Like it's fucking. Like he's doing it for his life. You know like if he doesn't get hit in the chin. He dies. That's what he's doing right. It's like his fucking. He got a magnet on his chin for fucking punches right. But this guy's fucking elite. I give him his credit. He knocks guys out. He has a lot of fights. And, he, you know, he won two fights in the UFC. And it's just fucking, that's awesome, bro. He's fucking great. He's awesome. But <laughs> but he can win this fight, though. That is a fact. He can win this fight. He does have power. He's been training with Henry Sudo, who I respect. I don't know. Like, Rakish kind of did call him out, though, saying he hasn't really been training with Sudo. But he can win this fight against um, Mr. Gl uh, Clover if he knocks him out. Like I said, against, like, like. Like Rumble did. If he knocks him out, he can win this fight. But I don't. I don't see that happening at fucking all. I don't see that happening at all. And I just really, truly, deep down in my heart, I just think all Glover has to do inside body lock, get him on his fucking back, arm triangle, rear naked choke, fucking city, and it's over. Now, obviously, is there a world where Glover gets hit, gets knocked down? Gets right back up. What do I think? He does what he normally does. He overcomes adversity. And he will win that fight. Even in that scenario. Yuri. You know, I don't think you guys understand what I'm saying. Yuri has to touch his fucking chin and kill him. He has to end him. He has to do what he did to Dominic Reyes in the first 10 seconds. Just throw some crazy flying knees. Some crazy shit. And kill him. Don't give him a chance to come back. If he does that, he's done. 
And I don't even see that happening. I don't, I'm not going to give this guy, Yuri, a chance to even do that. This fight is done in the first round. Glover will take him down and sub him like he's nobody. You know? Glover got King Mo, obviously, in this camp to work with him. And they're they're devising a game plan to get rid of this clown. And, I, and I've seen it. Sometimes you got to meet fire with fire. I think Glover's going to have to put pressure on him. And we've seen it not go his way. And it has gone his way. He's going to have to put pressure on him. He's going to have to take him down. And he's going to have to fucking submit him. There's a world. I could, I could even see Glover even knocking him out. Glover can fuck. Man, he got one mean left hook. He really does. Lead hook. Man, he fucking kills dudes with it. I could see that world. But I, I just honestly see you're, you're giving your back to Dominic Reyes. You give your back to Glover, you're done. You know? I just see Glover choking him the fuck out. And that's just my prediction. One and done. I got Glover by submission in the first round but yeah man this 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 is a declaration to the samurai <laughs> bum boy fans from zach or wherever the fuck you're from i could care less it's a this is a declaration of war if you're mad that i'm disrespecting your your favorite fucking fighter stay mad all right because your boy is done all right the hype is done the nonsense is done all right yeah it's fucking fun all right you want to act like this guy is god you're going to find out the hard way he's not. Glover's going to end him at the ripe age of 42. Man, the grandpa and nursing home jokes are going to look funny. They're going to look funny. I promise you that. Um, Glover is one of my fucking favorite fighters of all time. So if I sound biased, I am biased. You already know me. You know, some people might call me e-biased. I don't know that guy. I don't know who calls me that. But it doesn't matter. They call me that. And do I care? No. Because Glover's fucking winning. All right, this ain't this ain't fiction. This is fact. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just having fun with it, y'all. I'm having fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go follow me on my Twitter. Go follow me on my Instagram. All the links will be down below in the description box. If you had a problem with it, if you're a Yuri fan, just talk your shit in the my comments. My phone wanted to to just say we have too much storage on the phone and not keep recording but i got at least i got 19 minutes out so it is what it is but yeah like i was saying go follow me on my twitter go follow me on my instagram uh like comment share the video if if you're a yuri fan you had a problem with what i said i, I don't care <laughs> i don't care but talk your shit i don't delete comments like that um and yeah man let, subscribe obviously if you hate me subscribe if you like me subscribe um yeah, man, let's get this eBay Fiber Nation growing. Like, comment, share the video. Love y'all, and goodbye.